1. After milling the cake to warm the oil press up to set a temperature, prepare to feeding and squeezing. 2. Turn on oil press. Pour roasted seeds into feeding hopper evenly and slowly. Can't feed too much, too quick or inconsistently. Adjust the adjusting bolt. Set the cake thickness as 1.5 to 2 mm. 3. The oil squeezed is gathered in oil tray. Then flow to the oil filter tanks through the oil tunnel. The two oil filter tanks work alternatively. 4. Observe closely to see if running is smooth and cake is normal. Normal cake has tiled shape, not stick fingers when pinches. Inner surface is smooth and outside surface is crinkle, no oil stains. 5. Spread the cake until it's cooled down below 40 degrees centigrade to avoid spontaneous combustion. Then storage is permitted. 6. When the oil is completely submerged, the filter mesh. Press the start filtration button. The vacuum pump starts to work. 7. During vacuum pump working, open the vacuum control valve of the working oil filter tank only. All of other valves should be closed. 8. When filtration is started, clean oil flows into the tank and residue drag stays on the filter mesh. Use wooden shovel and brush to clean the dregs in order not to block the filter mesh. 9. As the oil has high temperature and is unrefined, it's easy to generate bubbles under negative pressure in the tank. Excessive bubbles will decrease the vacuum pump's efficiency. Even make oil filter cannot work properly. So it's necessary to observe through the middle view window to check if bubbles are generated. 10. Once bubbles are found, Turn off the vacuum control valve immediately. Turn on the air control valve to let fresh air in. Thus to cool down the filter tank to avoid generate excessive bubbles. 11. When bubbles faded, turn off the air control valve. Turn on the vacuum control valve for continuing filtering. Still pay attention to the whole oil filtration process. 12. When the filtered clean oil level in the filter tank reaches the middle level of the observe window. Stop filtering. Prepare to use the other one filter tank. 13. Turn off the vacuum control valve on the filter tank. Turn on the air control valve. Release the negative pressure. Put a clean container under the tank. Turn on the valve at the bottom of the tank. Discharge the oil. 14. Use the two oil filter tanks alternatively to circulate the oil filtration job. 15. Clean the residue oil in the filter tank. Repeatedly turn off the vacuum control valve and turn on the air control valve to let cold air in. Filtrate all the oil. 16. Use wooden shovel to clean the dry dregs on the filter mesh. The dregs can be fed an oil press to press again. Wash or replace the filter cloth and filter mesh in time when they are blocked. Used filter cloth can be reused when washed. 17. Press the stop filtration button on the electric control panel once the filtration process finished.